Good morning students welcome back to English literature class my dear 7th standard students we are going to start a new chapter today this is unit 4 prose and the name of the chapter is the blind dog we will start with part 1 and we will move forward this is introduction to this chapter the last video is not applicable for this because it is this is the first part of this chapter in this video, we are going to discuss a learning objectives for this chapter and do a pre-reading activity. Learning objectives, as we did in the previous chapters, let us discuss the learning objectives that is knowledge, skills and values for this chapter. This is what we are doing in each and every chapter. Hope by now that we have done already six chapters that is three prose and three poems. I hope all of you are able to understand what is a knowledge, what is a skill and what is a value. Let us see again in this part I will explain to you once again. In this chapter we will gain some knowledge about some behavior of street dogs. Knowledge means something which we do not know we are going to learn. That is an information it is something which is already existing it is an information which we are going to learn. That is a behavior of street dogs is already existing everybody knows but not everybody will know how they behave. So some of us know some of us do not know. So we are going to gain some more knowledge about street dogs in this chapter. We will learn reading, understanding and writing skills by discussing about various characters and their roles and by dividing the chapter into various settings and events. So this is again we normally do that is every time we do reading we understand the chapter I explained to you by that you are able to understand something and then there are questions for which you will write answers with this you are able to improve our reading ability, understanding ability and writing ability. These are all skills. These are all specific skills means it is the uh, what to say it is the efforts whatever you are able to take you are slowly improving in each and every chapter. So that is a skill which we will be learning or improving in this chapter. How we do not only just we are reading and, uh, and understanding we are also dividing the chapter into various events, middle event, beginning event, end event and we see the settings and we the characters and each characters what are the roles. So we see all these things. All these things what we will do as normally we do first we will complete the reading of the chapter. I will explain to you the meanings and then we will do story discussions. When we do the story discussions we will be doing these activities. We will check once again and then go through the chapter and then understand this knowledge skills and the third one is the values. Discuss values like in this chapter we are going to learn that hurt do not hurt anyone be it human beings or animals. It is not just we have to we should not hurt human beings we should not hurt animals also that is what we are going to learn that is a value we are going to learn from this chapter. We will discuss and then we will learn that. After we complete this chapter we will check whether we have learned the above. That is in the last part that is in conclusion part we will discuss these things. Let us now move forward. This is a pre-reading activity just to before the story which is written by an author we will also discuss about the author subsequently. We are going to do a pre-reading activity. People love animals and keep them as pets. Take dogs for example. Dogs are well fed, bathed, groomed and taken out for walks and rides. Their masters get them good medical care. In the end they are sometimes put to sleep to help them escape the pangs of death. There are also people who keep animals to make them work for them. They feed them well to keep them strong. So as usual first I am going to give the meanings difficult words meanings. So groomed what is groomed? Brushed and cleaned the body in this story groomed has got different meanings in this chapter in this particular story it means brushed and cleaned the body. The next one is pangs. Pangs means sharp pains. Okay. So these are the two difficult words. Now I will explain to you. So normally these are all very simple statements only. Everybody love animals and they keep as pets. For example dog. So dogs are given food. Dogs are taken uh, given bath. They are brushed and cleaned the whole body. Then they are taken for walks. Sometimes they will take, uh, take them in bikes and cars. So the masters take them very well. Take care of them very well including medical care. Sometimes what they say the, the, the fourth line in the end. That is if suppose some serious health problem comes for a dog. 
they will be given some sort of sleeping pills or something there will be hospitals available for that where they will take them and they will be given a peaceful death so the, so that they don't uh, unnecessarily suffer too much of pains and there are people who keep animals for making work for them you all know many of us keep animals what is that one immediately you remember yes we keep all many of us keep bulls to help us in doing agriculture doing harvesting plowing the land for all these things we all know right so we will continue there is some more in this pre reading activity have you heard spca the society for, for prevention of cruelty to animals it says we must not treat animals cruelly in this story in this story some people help a poor mongrel to run away from its cruel master but the poor thing comes back to him and falls into his clutches again so cruelty all of you know but still i have written unkindness and clutches clutches means control in this story it is clutches means control clutches has got other meanings so how oh, many of you or some of you may be knowing there is a society called there is an agency there is a department something association the society for prevention of cruelty to animals what they do is they give awareness programs they will help people to understand the importance of not hurting the animals in in the case you see anybody giving unnecessary pain to any animal you can always call them and they will come and see that those people are not torturing them Uh, torturing the animals so uh, that way this society helps animals to live a peaceful life and what happens in this story in this story a poor mongrel all of you know what is a mongrel which story you remember immediately mongrel means yes a tiger in the house a tiger had a puppy mongrel puppy so here there is a mongrel there is a street dog it is uh, it is being held by a cruel master and then some of some people help it escape but again it goes back and falls into the control of the master let us see when we read the story we will know how it happens so about the author the name of the author is r k narayan he has written many many english stories and most of them became very famous some of you would have heard about him also he's a very very famous writer and he lived uh, almost 100 years back he was born more than 100 years back he was born and he died somewhere in 2000 beginning of 2000 this story the story what we are going to see the blind dog is one of a set of 32 stories called titled malgudi days published in 1943 malgudi days is a very very famous story of r k narayan and it has been taken as a movie also there was a movie also by name malgudi days there are 32 stories in malgudi days out of which one story is the blind dog and this was published in 1943 that means how many years back almost 80 years back but still this uh, story is very famous for its values he has received many awards including padma vibhushan padma bhushan and film fair award for best story padma vibhushan is one of the highest awards given by government of india so he has received that also so in this video we discuss learning objectives hope all of you are able to differentiate and understand what is knowledge what is skill and what is value so we have we have discussed that what are we are going to read uh, learn from this chapter we have seen that when we go through the chapter we will know and also did a pre reading activity just to say about how the pet animals are taken care or animals are used for uh, work in the next chapter we are going to understand beginning events of the story that is we are going to divide the story into different parts beginning middle and the end so next chapter next video will be beginning events of the story as usual there are five questions and again since this is the first part i am explaining to you how to attempt these questions first thoroughly first you can pause the video and note down all these questions after i finish this page after you note down the questions you can see whether you are able to understand and write the answers for these questions if it is not possible no problem close these questions go back to the video see the video one or two times and then you see your textbook also you might have taken some notes also see all those things once you understood this particular video this part you understood close all these close your video close your notebook close the textbook sit in a calm place sit for about 10 15 minutes five questions will not take more than 10 minutes or maximum 15 minutes start writing the answers and don't get up in between 
finish all the answers for five questions, all five questions answers you write, then you do whatever you want. After that, you can check that again video or textbook to see whether your answers are correct or not. But in between, don't see anything. In between, don't get up also. This way, you will be able to learn and understand each and every part and the whole chapter also very well. That's all for this video. Thank you.